Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and we're coming at you live here with some breaking news. The Las Vegas Raiders have gone out and extended edge rusher Max Crosby. I've been talking about this for weeks here on this show because I knew it was going to happen. I knew that Crosby was going to be the Raiders' number one priority this offseason, and he absolutely should be. He's been an absolute monster since being a fourth-round pick out of Eastern Michigan in 2019. I know he had one year left on his deal, but he gets a huge four-year $98.98 million contract extension with $53 million guaranteed. He also had that one year left on his deal at 4.2. So now that I'm thinking about that super chat I had earlier, yeah, it's about five years, 104 mil. So you're sitting somewhere around the $20 million range per year, which I think is a really good value type of deal. Considering the fact of Harold Landry, he went five years, 82. Landry's good, but Crosby, the numbers that he's been able to put up the past few seasons, I definitely think this warrants that. This is the very first person that went ahead and put it on Twitter. It's from Tom Pelissero. The Raiders are signing Pro Bowl defensive end Max Crosby to a four-year $98.98 million extension with $95 million in new money and $53 million guaranteed, a massive payday for a rising star. So what I want you guys to do is go down in the comments right now, and let's go back to school. I want you to grade the extension of Max Crosby, A, B, C, D, or F. And you know what? I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. So when you're getting hit with that YouTube ad break, I want you to scroll on down and let me know. I want you to grade the extension of Max Crosby. When I really think about the extension of Crosby, I'm going to go ahead and give it an A grade because I've said multiple times, when you have a player like this, you need to make him a Raider for life. Not only did he get it tatted on his arm, he's just been that dog in the locker room, in the weight room, out on the football field. Let's look at his first three seasons in the National Football League. This past year, 56 tackles, 30 quarterback hits, 8 sacks. And there's going to be a lot of people out there like, oh, he's only had 8 sacks last season. The Raiders blitzed dead last last year, okay? Dead last in blitz rate. However, we're number one in pressure rate, and Max Crosby led all NFL players in quarterback hits with 30. In 2020, he had 39 tackles, 13 quarterback hits, seven sacks. He's also doing this with three different defensive line coaches, essentially. And then as a rookie, 47 tackles, 14 quarterback hits. He had 10 sacks and four forced fumbles. I'm going to read off some names of rookies who have had 10 sacks and four forced fumbles in their career since 1991. Mark Anderson, Terrell Suggs, Julius Peppers, Dwight Freeney, Javon Curse, Mike Kroll. I don't know about y'all, a lot of big name and a lot of Hall of Famers right there, and Max is on his way to being a Hall of Famer. So he's entering year four now which I can't wait to see what this man's able to do in Patrick Graham's system. So how many sacks for Max Crosby this upcoming season? Remember, he had eight last season, seven the year before that, and ten. I get the fact that they have unique Gokwe and a 3-4 system. Really curious to see if he gets more one-on-ones. It's definitely going to matter on who the defensive tackle is going to be. Does Malcolm Kuntz step up? Is somebody like Carl Nassib able to take that next step but when you're talking about 15 from Juan Hernandez 15 from Darth Vader I haven't seen a single number that isn't in double digits if you're telling me right now I can get a player who's under 25 years old under 25 years old and get double digit sacks it's worth every single penny especially with the salary cap about to go up now this was my Crosby contract extension I had him at five years 105 total, average of 21 mil, and 50 million guaranteed. I don't know about you, when I see the numbers that ended up getting broken down, I mean, right now he's going to be somewhere around essentially uh, 104 million for five years. He's making about 21 mil, and he got 53 million guaranteed. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't think I know what I'm talking about, but I put in way too much time, do way too much homework to know or to not know what's going on around the silver and black. So I was pretty close. I thought I did okay, but I got a lot of people thrown down there in the comment section, their thoughts on this Max Crosby contract extension, which brings me to this point. I know there's a lot of other YouTube channels out there. I know there's a lot of other content creators, and I know there's a lot of people that try to do this for a living, but personally, I don't think anybody does what the Raiders report does. So this is the time of the year, whether it's a trade that goes down, whether it's a contract extension, whether it is a big-time signing in free agency. The Raiders report 
has got you covered. Your one-stop shop, everything going on around the silver and black. So if you bleed Raiders, I guess that kind of makes sense. If you want to stay up to date on news, rumors, and all that good stuff, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, because I'm telling y'all, I don't want you to miss anything the entire offseason. Let's now look at the Raiders' defensive line depth chart. As it stands right now, you got Crosby, you got Unique Gakwe, your top two edge rushers. Carl Nassib, Cleveland Furl, also has some backups. Malcolm Kuntz, expect a little bit more out of him. But the issue here for the Raiders is their interior. Not only are you probably going to be going to a 3-4, Jonathan Hankins, Quentin Jefferson, Gerald McCoy, Solomon Thomas, and Darius Phylon are all free agents. So it's going to be really important for the Raiders to go out and get somebody in the draft. Maybe that's somebody like Jordan Davis. Maybe it's Devonta Wyatt. Maybe it's the, the kid out of UConn. So you can go a bunch of different ways. But I know one thing. If Max Crosby is out there on that football field, he is going to give you 100, 110% on every single snap. It is why I have always respected the hell out of 98. So now here's your chance to rank them because I have noticed this a lot over the last 24 hours where Khalil Mack ends up going to the Los Angeles Chargers and a lot of people are like, well, why didn't the Raiders go out and get Khalil Mack? Khalil Mack this, Khalil Mack that. Where does Crosby rank among other NFL pass rushers? A lot of people might not like what I'm about to say, but at this current moment, okay, at this current moment, from what I know, I believe Max Crosby is a better pass rusher than Khalil Mack. Now, if you're telling me Khalil Mack is 100% healthy, then that's a different story because Khalil Mack in 2020 was better than Max Crosby. However, Max Crosby in 2021 was better than Khalil Mack, and I'm going to take the more frequent year over somebody like Mack who last season missed what I'm gonna say 10 games missed 10 games and even when he was on the field wasn't as productive so where would you rank Max Crosby is he a top 10 edge rusher if your answer is yes if you think he's top five edge rusher material then the deal that he ended up getting is an absolute steal now I don't know about y'all I am always trying to provide more content and in fact I actually dropped a brand new video about an hour ago over on Locals, and it's my top 15 best bang for your buck free agents that the Raiders could go out and get. If you want to get more Raiders content, if you want to get more exclusive shows, if you just want to see me hanging out in my apartment talking Raiders, we can chat as well. You can become a local supporter. How do you do that? Join RaidersReport.Locals.com. And for all of our local supporters, we're going to be doing a March Madness style of tournament so if you become a monthly supporter, if you become a yearly supporter, I'm going to send you an email. If you haven't received your email yet, it's because you haven't checked your email. I sent them out this morning. Uh, and you're going to be entered for a chance to win a Rich Gannon signed helmet. Essentially what happens is this. Whoever comes in first in that March Madness tournament, you get a signed Rich Gannon helmet, and it looks like this. Major, major shout-out to the Valley Brothers CNM on Facebook. We're also going to be doing a Marcus Allen signed helmet as well, but that's going to be a, maybe a week or two weeks away. So if you want to go ahead and get a chance to win that, if you go to chatsports.com slash Valley Brothers, you can win it. But if you want to win this Rich Gannon helmet, you got to come in first place in my March Madness tournament, RaidersReport.Locals.com. All right, y'all, so I decided to go live here on the Raiders Report because... When there's breaking news, it is my job to keep you guys up to date on everything going on around the silver and black. Max Crosby, the fourth round pick out of Eastern Michigan in 2019, who had one year left on his deal, signed a four-year, $98.98 million contract extension with $53 million guaranteed dollars. I thought that he was going to get around this ballpark style of money, and now he's got five years left, essentially at about 104. $104.2 million in total dollars and cents. Major, major shout out to Max. And before this cut wraps up, I want you to go down, show some love to the Condor, show some love to Mad Max, show some love to 98, because since the day that he has come in, since the day that he has put on that jersey, since the day that he has repped that shield, he has done everything in his human power to make sure that you know he's out there giving it his all. So show Max some love and go ahead and spam 98. 